spring 2007, TK is approached by Statoil Hydro with an unprecedented project. To achieve their goal, Statoil Hydro needs a reliable and flexible partner. Over the years, TK has invested heavily in its organization. We like to specialize in tailor-made solutions for our customers. TK and Statoil Hydro has a long history of cooperation. We know each other well, we trust each other, so therefore it was natural to turn to TK when we wanted to do something which was very difficult but very important to us. The condensate risers at the Christin platform need repair. To prevent a detrimental production stop, a unique solution is proposed, direct loading to a DP positioned shuttle tanker. For the project to succeed, Startall Hydro demands from TK its two best shuttle tankers. Immediately, TK takes on the challenge of rescheduling its shuttle fleet, freeing the vessels Navion Britannia and Navion Hispania. We managed to reschedule the entire fleet and we were able, in fact, to provide them with uh, the, the two vessels that they were particularly asking for. Within a week, the first of many milestones is reached, but one unforgiving obstacle overshadows the project. The main challenges in the project uh, was time, 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 time. Normally you would need about 12 months to do a project like this. We had only two and a half months. Which meant that we had a lot of people that had to come together and work intensively on a number of tasks over a, a very compressed period of time. TK and Startall Hydro set up a flexible task force to prepare, plan for and meet the challenges ahead. We had no room for, for hiccups or, or uh, anything going wrong. The main service we received from TK in this project was their ability to plan and execute a technologically and logistically complex operation under extreme time pressure. The relation that we managed to establish with the client, with Startup Hydro, the integrated project organization with them, uh, was tremendously important. Three times a week we had telephone calls with the client, open dialogues, open communications, online problem solving, online decision making. With only two and a half months to go, and given the project's complexity, creative solutions are vital. So we developed a simulator system which was installed on board and therefore all the training of the DP operators took place on board uh, these two vessels. In addition to a dual DP system, a modified telemetry arrangement is installed to ensure a secure export. We have an, a big ship very near a hot platform, a producing platform. On both units are located many people. And all the time we had to take a step back and think safety. During the project we never compromised safety. Before the operation started we had to walk meter by meter through the project and in all its details. Uh, not only with our uh, vessels involved, but also the, uh, the cooperation that our vessel would have with other field support vessels in the, in the operations. Another key element is, is the training of the crews and the competence of the crews. These guys are experienced. Here we come in with a new type of software. They pick it up and they execute without any failures. Execution time arrives. The team is prepared and ready. Navion Britannia commences hookup with the Kristin platform. During the early morning hours, the team accomplishes what they've been working so hard for. Two and a half months from the day of the kickoff meeting, the shuttle tanker is now direct loading its cargo. The offtake was done without any accident, incident, any spillage, a safe operation. That was a success. The project was a success because we had no personal injuries. Secondly, we had the right people and the right companies involved in the project with a positive attitude. And thirdly, we managed to keep the production going as planned during the repair of the ISIS. The project execution went without any technological problems, but the main level of satisfaction is related to the fact that we used the time window uh, and we met the time window, and if we hadn't done that, 
uh, there was an income stream which wouldn't have been available to us. Uh, so therefore, we were very satisfied that TK, together with us, made that possible. The good thing about uh, Stafford Hodro in this project was, since they are so skilled and have this high knowledge on offshore uh, operations. I believe that uh, the keys to success on, on any project starts with one thing uh, always, and that is the relationship between the partners. We have an excellent relationship with Stadol Hydro, and that really was the foundation for, for this project. I think projects like these are really great. Uh, these are the projects that get the best out of people, and uh, by the end of the day, that's a lot more fun than just taking our vessels from A to B. We really thrive on, on, uh, on projects like this project, where there is a lot more technical complexity to it.